secret boy here again. So it seems my friend wants me to make another Jody Arias video because they seem to be very popular. Just mention Jody and you get a lot of views. I wonder what that's all about. But uh, there's a few details I'll try to cover that some people are asking about. And one would be Jody's sex life. Oh, one other thing. I do know Jody and I have talked to her. I've visited her and I write to her quite often. But uh, I cannot reveal my identity because obviously a lot of people don't like Jody. So anyhow, on with the subject and someone asked about Jody's sex life. My take on that is, is that it's non-existent. She doesn't have a sex life. Of course, I don't know. I'm not there every day. But my feeling is that Jody Arias is not in any way a lesbian and has no interest in that. Also, it's against the rules. It's against the rules and Jody doesn't break the rules. And the reason she doesn't break the rules is because she's on level three, which gives her maximum amount of privileges that she's going to get. If she gets in trouble, then she loses her privileges. For instance, she's allowed three phone calls per day, 15 minutes each. She's allowed to have food from outside sent in. She's allowed contact visits. <clears throat> of course, that hasn't happened for over a year. Uh, at some point this year, visiting should resume, however. So Jody is not a rules breaker. <clears throat> In fact, she's not even a criminal. Yes, yeah, she committed a horrendous murder. That's true. It was kind of a one-off. Uh, temporary insanity. Not sure what to say about that. So her status is medium security. But she's still at Lumley Yard and will remain at the Lumley unit, which is the maximum security unit in Perryville Prison. What's happening over here, looks like? Anyway, uh, so she's gonna stay at Lumley, which is uh, not a very, not a very nice place. There, there were some palm trees there. It's sunshiny in Arizona. Uh, she gets a view of the mountains. She can see Interstate 10, but she's confined to the yard and the unit area. Sunny day today. Beautiful day. So what else? Is Jody Arias a Mexican American? No, she is uh, a half, half interracial. Her father was uh, Mexican descent and her mother is Welsh, I believe. White girl, anyway. Jody is not in a gang, not at all. She does not trust the media. She's very paranoid about the media. And for that reason, she doesn't want to say a lot of things or even make phone calls. And so she tells me about it. She says, don't trust the rumors and don't believe anything you see or hear on Facebook. Now, this is the longest damn uh, crossing ever. Now, give me a break. Okay. Uh, she is working in the library, at least part time. I'm not sure what her file says or how up to date that is, but almost all inmates have to work. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to walk this way because <laughs> I'm just not getting across that road. Not through that intersection, that's for sure. So if there's any other questions, 
Just put them in comments and we will answer them for you. Um, strolling down the road here in the city. Definitely a nice day today. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. Sun drenched. Got a little homeless shelter over here. I'm going down this way. Jody has a list of people that she can make contact with. It's limited. Um, they have to be approved. It's kind of a little process. She, uh, you know, will always accept uh, somebody putting money on her books. So, I think that's pretty informative right there. I believe I was informative on that today more than usual. And be that as it may, I think we're gonna call this video. No, no, no. It, it's a video. It's not a pictures. You're not in it though. Yes, I am. Got a homeless guy complaining about my uh, shooting video. I don't know what he's so worried about. All right. That's about six, seven minutes. That's as long as these things will 